Word just coming in of a Russian who was a critic of, of Vladimir Putin found dead in his home in London. Our senior international correspondent, Nick Peyton Walsh, is joining us from London right now. Nick, what can you tell us? Well, I'll proceed with a note of caution, Wolf, because it's very early days here. But Nikolai Glushkov, uh, we understand from uh, his lawyer speaking to Russian media, was the man who the Metropolitan Police have identified, sorry, have said was found uh, dead at his home uh, just south of London in New Malden uh, last night at about 10 o'clock. Now, cause of death is not given uh, at this particular point, but the police behind me say they've put the counter-terrorism police police in charge of the investigation, I think purely because of the climate of suspicion, and I might say uh, fear, that is gripping London because of the deaths of Sergei and Yulia Skripal. Now, the same statement from the police says that at this point they do not believe there is any link to the events of Salisbury, but still, the fact that Nikolai Glushkov, uh, as we now appear to know, uh, a man aged 69, fair to say who has been reported to have had health problems in the past, uh, is now, of course, turning up uh, dead in his home, has got many people concerned. Now, I should give a little bit of background history here. Mr. Glushkov was an associate of a, uh, a, a, what you call an oligarch, a very rich Russian businessman called Boris Berezovsky, who himself was kind of a kingmaker in the 90s, many say responsible, in fact, for part of Vladimir Putin's uh, move into the Russian elite. But Berezovsky fell out with uh, the Kremlin, moved to London and a series of corruption cases uh, launched by his then enemies in the Kremlin followed him here. Also followed Mr Glushkov. Mr Glushkov was accused and sought for extradition from the United Kingdom uh, to Russia because of accusations he'd embezzled uh, millions of dollars from the Russian state airline Aeroflot. Now he was sentenced uh, in absentia on a number of occasions, did some actually some jail time in Russia on various charges and found himself here in the United Kingdom. So it remains a, a very key note of caution here because we don't know at this point the cause of death or if any foul play is suspected at all. But the mere fact that a man who fell foul of the Kremlin turns up dead in his home at this frankly troubling time here in the United Kingdom has many asking very serious questions. Very serious questions indeed. And as you point out, the Metropolitan Police, a counterterrorism unit, now taking over the investigation of this death. Uh, stand by for a moment. Fred Plytkin is uh, joining us from Moscow right now. Fred, uh, what are you picking up over there? Well, it's interesting, Wolf, because a lot of Russian outlets are actually already picking up on this uh, very quickly. Uh, the state-run media has picked up it. Uh, other outlets have picked up on it as well. Right now, what we have from the Russians is pretty much factual reporting. Uh, they're saying that this man, uh, Nikolai Glushkov, that he has been found dead. Uh, his uh, lawyer has been uh, on Russian media as well, confirming this. Again, right now, it's uh, a lot of speculation as to what exactly the cause of death might be. That's certainly something um, that uh, the folks here are going to be looking very close at, as will the authorities. Authorities, uh, as well to see if there's going to be any more speculation on that. But, you know, Nick is right. This does, of course, come at a very sensitive time after the poisoning of Sergei Skripal. Uh, then, of course, Mr. Glushkov as well was in that circle of people around Boris Berezovsky, Alexander Litvinenko, two people who uh, died under mysterious uh, circumstances, uh, especially uh, Litvinenko, of course, was poisoned, and someone who in the past had already said, look, uh, I might be the next one. He referred to himself as the last man standing uh, at one point. So uh, certainly this is something where he was someone who was very critical uh, of Moscow, someone who had fallen out uh, with the powers that be here around the Kremlin, and certainly someone who believed that his life was very much in danger. It's going to be very interesting to see in the next couple of hours, especially how reporting here is going to happen in Russia, whether or not there's going to be any official statement and whether or not this is going to cause even more issues between Russia and the United Kingdom as things, of course, are already so fired up between these two countries. Uh, well, if I have to tell you today, uh, the Russians really not happy with a lot of the things that they've been hearing out of the UK. They've become very, very defensive, of course, about the Sergei Skripal case. We'll wait and see how they react about this one, Wolf. Yeah, I'm sure they are. All right, thanks very much uh, uh, for that, Fred Plaikin in Moscow. Well, let's bring in our panel to assess this and all the breaking news here in Washington. Our global affairs correspondent, Elise Labatt, is with us. Our CNN Global Affairs analyst, Tony Blinken, uh, Blinken, is with us. He's a former Deputy Secretary of State during the Obama administration and our chief political analyst. Gloria Borger is with us. Tony Blinken, you, uh, this is very disturbing, mm -hmm. these, uh, uh, this death in, Mos mm -hmm. in, in London today, uh, this Russian emigration.
Sarah Gray, what's been going on in Salisbury, elsewhere in England. How do you see it? Well, Wolf, if you're a Putin opponent, it's apparently not good for your health. Look, we don't know in this particular case uh, what's happened. Let's follow the facts. But there's a long list and growing list of uh, Russians who are opponents of Putin, who are, uh, went left, the, the left Russia and wound up dead, including in the United States. Uh, but what's most pressing is this uh, case that we do know about, and we do have the facts on, at least from the Brits, uh, involving the uh, the death of, or well, the uh, the uh, poisoning of Mr. Skripal and his daughter, and Yulia. his daughter. Yeah. And uh, there's a deadline tomorrow, as, as you know. Theresa May has said she wants to hear from the Russians by tomorrow uh, on what happened. Yeah, and this is causing potentially not only a severe rupture in UK-Russia relations, but maybe with the United States as well. That's right, and you just heard. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson uh, the other day going further than the White House has gone, saying that this is very troubling, blaming, you know, putting the blame um, solely on Moscow and saying that there needs to be more investigation well, about that it. that may have been dangerous to his political health, yeah. <laughs> you know, because they disagreed on a lot of issues, this one of them. Um, and so... Because Tillerson was much more forceful in condemning the Russians than, for absolutely. example, the president. Well, the president's uh, press secretary... Uh, did not come out and refused after she was asked repeated times to come out and say, do you believe, as the, as the British do, that, that the Russians did this? And she did not.